Hello, it's October 28th, 2022, and I started a new puzzle today. Here's the picture. Isn't that pretty? It's been sitting on my shelf for, well, at least two years. And there was always another puzzle. To, I, I don't even know where I got it from, but there was always something else I grabbed first. But I decided to pull that one this time, which is kind of nice. So I separated all the pieces. And that's what's a, what I do with that is I have little cups. And because the puzzle like this has different size shapes of the puzzle pieces, but there's a whole bunch of action going on here with color so what I do is I separate the pieces by shapes not by colors first and then that's easier to break down and easier to fit them in once I get down to all these mixes of different colors but I can pull from the shapes the the, the colors that I'm looking for so I separate by shape first especially on the bigger ones and it really helps to organize things greatly. I did get a new, I made a new puzzle table, so it will fit my 2,000 piece puzzles now. And um, that's what's exciting. And I think I mentioned, did I mention in my last video about my little 100s? These guys here. Yeah. Puzzle bugs. These ones I got from the Dollar Tree, and they're very they're very handy because when I get when I get bogged down with the big ones, and I'm kind of dis, dis depressed, <laughs> I guess to say, because I'm like, oh, they're taking so long. Then I'll cover it up, and I've got some some white boards, and then I'll do one of these guys. It's quick takes me about a half an hour to run these through and depending on how um, how warped they are <laughs> so that's what I love about these and I got a whole bunch of different ones they're very cheap they were buck fifty at the Dollar Tree and that keeps me going to do the bigger projects and I I remember sitting and doing big puzzles and I'm like oh, they last for months but this last 1000 piece that I did didn't last so long because I could break it up a little bit with the little dollar tree puzzles so I'm kind of excited about that and I've even got some 500 piece puzzles too so I'll even break up a thousand with a 500 piece it takes a little longer but I enjoy that so that's kind of where I'm at right now and then like every um, sane human being I do the borders first that's right if I can right so that's I get all the border pieces separated and do that first and it depends what it is like if once I get the borders done like this one I might start with the I might start with the road because it's a smaller section or I might start with the sky it all it all changes depending on what puzzle it is right but I kind of enjoy joy discovering that as I go and I what I've been really enjoying is having the classical music play alongside when I'm puzzling too. Sometimes I'll YouTube, but sometimes I just, you know, want just the distraction to be not there with what I'm watching on YouTube, but I'll, I'll put on some classical music and it's just beautiful because then I can just find things and that's what's good. So there's a little update on my puzzling and I'm all excited because I met a fellow puzzler yesterday and I heard that he's got his garage filled with puzzles that he's done and I hope to go see him and his his puzzle garage one day <laughs> so I don't have space to hang all my puzzles so I just was excited that that somebody had space to hang their puzzles so I, I look forward to being able to check this garage out filled with puzzles. But uh, who knows, that would be that would be one thing I would do. If I could, I would just, I don't know, wallpaper them somewhere. Who knows, but still, still going to be packing them away and doing them because I enjoy them and saving them because I enjoy them. And that is my story today. And y'all take care and have a good day. Bye.